She pulled over, the engine imploded, and she got out in the nick of time. That there was flames pouring out from underneath the car. Well, what's wrong with putting a new engine in your car? Why are you having to do that in the first place? Life's too short to drive boring cars. 5.8 million Hyundais and Kias impacted by this catastrophic failure. Can they even come back from that or is it finally the end? Let's get into it now. So it's been a sad, sad state of affairs that 5.8 million Hyundais and Kias have been impacted by this nasty engine failure. Now normally I wouldn't even care about the manufacturers themselves, for example Hyundai Kia or any other for that matter. They make way too much money in my opinion and the consumer's always at the end of the rope for that. But the unfortunate reality is it's not just the manufacturer that's impacted by all of these engine problems, it's actually the consumer. And it's not just dollars out of the pockets, there's actually been people put out by having their vehicles taken away from them because of a nasty recall that takes weeks if not months to sort out. But even more importantly, there's more going on. There's been many people maimed, injured and even killed as a result of some bad engine designs and horrible construction of some new engines that you're finding in the Hyundai and Kia brand as they're both brother and sister car companies. Now a lot of you have probably heard there's been a lot of catastrophic engine fires for a multitude of reasons. Some of them have allegedly been due to brake controllers or ABS controller modules that start on fire. Some of them have been bad wiring within the engine compartment and there's been a lot of catastrophic engine failures due to some machining processes built within. What ends up happening, some of the burrs wind up outside of the crankshaft, plugs up the oiling or and it results in hot spots in the rod bearings, thus creating sometimes engine lights, rough running, or an outright catastrophic engine failure, resulting in, on occasion, engine fires. Now I know 5.8 million vehicles recalled does not translate to 5.8 million vehicles directly impacted, but they have the potential for it. And I bet one thing a lot of people didn't realize is there was actually a whistleblower that exposed and released the fact that Hyundai and Kia actually knew that the Theta 2 engines, as well as many others, had potentials for these types of failures in as early as 2017. Now I know, I know, now the recalls are often catching up with a lot of the vehicles and Hyundai and Kia is doing good at this point in many cases and it's funny, I've talked about this in previous videos and a lot of people came at me with the fact that, hey, I love my Hyundai, hey, I love my Kia, hey, they're perfect vehicles, I get a lot of mileage out of them, they're very reliable and some of that is true, absolutely. They've come a long ways, they've made reliability has definitely been stepped up drastically from previous models and generations. But sadly, the recalls are coming in a little too late in some cases. And the other thing I find funny is somebody said, oh yeah, they took care of me. I had a rental car for free, the dealer paid for it, and they took my car in, put a new engine, and life is grand. What's wrong with that? And I say, well, what's wrong with putting a new engine in your car? Why are you having to do that in the first place? A well-engineered, well-designed, and when well-built engine should not have to be replaced within 60 or 70,000 miles of original and new. And I find it hilarious how some people consider a new engine in their car like, an, like a consumable, like a set of brakes, or like a starter or a water pump. It's hilarious. That's not the case. An engine should last the life of a vehicle, regardless of the recall covering it, you should never have to put a new engine in your car. Personally, I just think that's bad quality control, a bad design, and a whole lot of bad going on altogether. I've had friends, I've had family ask me, Hyundai, Kia, I've been looking at the specific model, what do you think? All I can do is share what I know, and what I know is there's been a lot of problems related to that. And sure, there's a lot of vehicles that drive down the road with hundreds of thousands of miles that haven't had any issues. However, if I was a betting man, I'd have to say, we're not talking about one, to five types of failures across the board. We're talking about dozens of failures to the point where there's fires and that left the car burnt roadside. And I have to share some stories. For the sake of anonymity, I won't mention any last names, but a lady named Carol said she lost her son Keith due to an engine fire in his Kia Rio, it was a 2014 model year, and it was in Cincinnati, and the individual was driving out of the parking lot in his apartment when the vehicle started up in flames. As a result, he did not get a chance to evacuate the vehicle on time, and all she could do was witness her son burn. Very soul-crushing, heart-crushing story. Very, very sad day. And another sad story is a lady named Maureen had a daughter named Aubrey and she was driving her Kia Soul down a California highway enjoying the sun and the sounds listening to her favorite music when all of a sudden lo and behold some drivers next to her in the freeway were waving her down said hey hey there's something going on all she could find was all of a sudden smoke pouring out the bottom she pulled over the engine imploded and she got out in the nick of time 
And there's another story by a gentleman who was actually only 17 years of age and his name was Matthias and he had a Kia Optima. And now sadly what ended up happening there was he was driving along through a slowly through a parking lot and a security guard noticed that there was flames pouring out from underneath the car. He pulled it over, he jumped out and as he looked back he noticed the car quickly became engulfed. Whoa, what is going on? There's actually countless stories like that. I could go on and on and on, but that's not the point. The point of the matter is there's been a lot of quality control issues, lots of engine fires, and, and sadly enough, it seems as though Hyundai and Kia are still struggling to get a stranglehold on correcting some of these issues, and unfortunately even more so it's at the expense of many, many owners. I can honestly tell you with the advent of electrification, I'm sure Hyundai and Kia are looking at that like a blessing in disguise. Because eventually, once these old ICE engines are all down the road, all of these problems are in the rear view mirror. And with all of that said, be sure to click right there. You're going to love it. If you're not buying one of these brands, you're definitely probably going to consider buying an affordable, reliable car that won't break the bank. You're going to love it. Hope to see you real soon. Catch you then. Bye-bye.